What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, and in this video I will be talking about Israel. Should we blame it for everything at Eurovision? Maybe, and maybe not. Let's talk. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my podcast, welcome back to my podcast when I'm mapping the losers of Eurovision 2024, kind of, and I really recommend to watch it all, because if you want, you will probably lose the context and context matter much more. And in this video, I will be talking about Israel's participation at Eurovision 2024. And for the ones who already knows me, you probably know what to expect. For the ones who don't know, really watch it all. And also, I would like you to invite you to subscribe the video, share the video, become a member so you can have exclusive content and also time exclusivity for the content and maybe some more things ongoing wider and wider this audience will grow and also like the video and also consider super like or buy me a coffee if you just want to support this channel to continue doing what it's doing this channel i'm doing it. it's not the channel the channel is just the platform right like eurovision is just the platform or i can maybe blame youtube or i may maybe blame you 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 for why it's not working better than expected right or maybe we can blame israel because this is the topic i really would like to talk about from a little bit various angles not to really bother you with a huge long crazy extreme podcast because i know that you're not able to watch it all and also i think it could be a little bit annoying and repeating itself but what i'm very what is very important to be said is that i'm receiving a lot of messages and not just me i think it's full internet of it like why israel is at eurovision and russia not and i'm starting to be extremely allergic about this question because basically that means lack of education and news reading actually just this it's it's so simple because first of all russian and belarusian ebu ex members situation was absolutely uncomparable to israel and i will just tell you one example which i like to use which you will probably understand or maybe two things which you will maybe understand better why it's not even comparable first of all russian and uh, belarus media which were part of the ebu were expelled from the ebu and ebu is not just eurovision so russia and belarusian media which were part of ebu weren't expelled from eurovision they were expelled from ebu and ebu it's much wider stuff than just Eurovision so they weren't basically expelled from Eurovision but the, there is a rule that only members of EBU can take part of Eurovision so this is the first absolute complete different because can however you like it or not it's part of EBU and no one or at least the majority of countries which or countries the members the public broadcasters or broadcasters from other countries didn't just vote Khan out they basically they want it in and probably the reason is that Khan is not doing this not telling in their public broadcaster media that or not telling in their news or in their other outlets that it will nuke your city your european city you are living at they are not telling that they will march through europe to conquer uh, to conquer it and stop in lisbon to cure the sick europe they don't do it but what it happened and i think now you can clearly see the difference right why they were expelled it's not basically because of the invasion even i do i think it accelerated such decisions the problem was that russia was continuously and belarus doing such kind of propaganda and after the invasion they completely spin it off crazily and it was completely violating all the ebu rules not eurovision rules eurovision is just a show it violated much much more and israel just basically didn't do it or israeli can the public broadcaster so this is one huge difference please don't compare it please don't compare it it's just showing that you know nothing about the situation but what it does it does division it creates this narrative it's basically russian propaganda also this so this is what you are sharing 
with Russian propaganda and this is not cool. This is actually evil and it's also stupid because it doesn't help anything and it just creating this extremely bad move but of course when it comes to israel everything is possible right like we can do everything when it comes to israel we can do basically everything we want because what it's popular yeah? like i will be so it would be so great that i'm part of this group you know finally i become somewhere finally i can yell on the street i can say some anti-semitic anti-semitic things i can i can say something hateful yes and then I blame it on Israel. My own behavior, I blame on Israel because this is understandable. When, I, when I'm an artist, I will b behave like a complete asshole on the press conference, but I will blame it on Israel because if Israel is not part of Eurovision, I would probably be okay, normal person. But they provoke me to be like this. They provoke me, you know, those Israelis, those crazy Israelis provoke me to be an idiot. Yes, they do this, of course, of course. No, come on, like, uh, on the other hand, we saw that, and we saw it clearly, that some members of Israeli delegation didn't really behave very good and provoked. I can, I can understand it from the, from the position of person who being bullied in my childhood and I understand how it's how it makes you tough and how it makes you contra doing stuff against the people who are bullying you but it's not cool it's not the way how you should play it and I think it didn't really help uh, the Israel in this case and in my opinion it should be fine also in my opinion those things should be really investigated and should be punished because I think in general this is unacceptable from anybody from bully side also this it's still stupid and those things don't really belong at eurovision at all but should you blame israel for it no i would should i would blame individuals i would blame individuals same for being jost klein openly against israel or bambitak openly against israel wouldn't tell i wouldn't say all irish or dutch people are bad or artists in Ireland or Netherlands are anti-Semitic or Norwegians should be blamed. No, I will point on Gotha that they signed this letter. I would not tell because you're a fan from Sweden and you're openly anti-Israel that Sweden is a country of zero tolerance. No, it's your problem, but you and other individuals are create a crowd. And this crowd just completely violated Eurovision principles. It wasn't Israel. Israel just came in and you can hate it or not, but it was you who ruined it. It was not Israel. You cannot put a blame that somebody went into the room and you're starting becoming a monkey. It's not Israel's fault, but I understand it's much easier to blame Israel. I stole the goods from the shop because it's owned by a billionaire. Who cares? Yes, but you're a thief, you know? Mind it before you blame somebody. And if you listened after here, you understood who this episode is meant to. The losers, the fans who cannot control themselves in their hates. Let's this Eurovision be also a memento for those who think they are more than the contest, the ones who are zero, has zero tolerance, and the ones who are not even able to read the facts, because this actually is the reason why you went where you went and why you ruined Eurovision. And I don't mean you who are reasonable person who's watching it, I mean you who are, is, are still able to write me why Russia is not expelled or why, why Israel wasn't expelled like Russia or other very interesting stuff about why Israel blamed or killed this Eurovision. No, Israel didn't do it. You did it. And yeah, this is what I wanted to say with this podcast so hope you enjoyed watching listening i hope you will watch my other videos and i really hope that uh, we will meet in the member section of my youtube channel yeah and see you next videos because this series of losers 
has no simple end. So see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.